What's up, my name's Matt and this is Paceboard Review. And since Fontaine's decided to do a secret drop, I'm doing a secret review of the two new Fontaine's. I got so many comments that you guys wanted to see these and see how they compare to a normal deck since they're the new printing. I've been using the Cycling Edition for this whole week. I knew I was able to get these. I ordered these on Monday from BAM Playing Cards. Shout out to BAM. So after ordering those on Monday, I decided to break these open and start using them all week long. I haven't used any other deck, so I know exactly how they feel. So we're going to see how the new ones feel with the new printing and everything, and we're going to check out how they look because the colors are pretty cool. So uh, let's get into it. So we have our pool tab. How easy is it? Come on. Come on, Taiwan. Learn how pool tabs work. Oh, interesting. The pull tab pulls across the front instead of around the back. So I'm going to show you on, on the top down here. Like right here, there's a little tab, and it just pulls right across the front. That's probably the easiest pull tab I've ever used on any deck of cards. All right, so right away, I'm going to be honest, Cycling Edition is the only other Fontaines I have, but they're the same stock that they've used for all of them. As far as the card case themselves goes, these, both of them, are on matte paper. These are non-reflective, non-glossy, just matte cardstock. Very cool. Let's, uh, I like blue more. Let's break the blue ones open. Let's see what they look like. Let's see what they feel like. We got the standard Fontaine on front, the standard spade on top. One of 2500. One of 2500, first edition pineapple. First edition Aqua Berry. So let's check these out. Right away, look at those borders. Those clean borders right there. You can see already on my old Fontaines. Look at those borders. Look at that thin border right up here. Big old thick, tiny little thin border. Oh my gosh. Just insane. But I know Fontaine likes to hide some stuff sometimes in their deck, so let's look for that. So we have standard faces and everything like that. None of that changed with the printing. Um, we have the Ace of Spades here, which is Fontaine in the middle. And let's go through real quick and just see if there's anything else on any of the other faces. No, we have our two Jokers. And what it looks like is we have no ad cards. I like that. So we just have our 52 cards and we have... So it looks like no ad cards. We just have our 52 cards and Double jokers, no frills, no extra junk to throw away. All right, right away, I'm telling you, the sides are a lot smoother than USB-CC. Straight out of the box. There's my dog. Hey Daisy, come here. All right, so right out of the box, I can tell you that they feel a lot better than USB-CC. Um, I don't know what really the difference is. They still feel as thin as a crushed stock would be. Let's see what they say on here. Do they say if they are crushed or anything like that? They don't say anything. Just first edition, Fontaine, designed by Zach Mueller. Distributed by Fontaine Cards. Made in Taiwan. Doesn't say what kind of card stock it is or anything like that. So, these, they definitely feel different than the regular Fontaines, but not by much. Now that I'm, they almost feel the regular Fontaines when I open on Monday, standard USPCC, real chalky on the sides, had to break them in. These feel already broken in. Like I took these out, they're ready to go out of the box. That is really cool. And let's see if they're traditionally cut. They are maybe, but not. They're a little tough. They're a little tough on the Pharaoh. So. They're either not cutting identically to how we're probably used to it from USB-CC, but it's not a hundred. It's not as bad as like a reverse cut deck. After a couple, it does get a bit easier, so that's not horrible. But it doesn't just weave like a standard traditionally cut deck would like right away. The finish on here, I really like the finish. It feels really smooth. That's kind of what I noticed about the other Fontaines though as well is that these don't feel like a standard bicycle finish like this feels like they finished the paper 
in a different way. And I don't know if that's the air cushionness to it or if that's something else, but they just feel a little different than your standard deck of cards. I think they nailed it with this new printing company. The feel of their old cards. They definitely feel really good. Let's see if we can slide everything out. I've been getting better at my worm. Hey oh, look at that. Those are the aqua berries. Let's check out the pineapples real quick. Just so we can see how bright freaking yellow they are. Look at that. It's like the sun. These feel a little more hardcore to Pharaoh. I don't know if that's just the printing. Hey! Yeah, sorry about that. My landlord showed up and uh, started uh, talking to me. So, the yellow ones feel a little bit different than the blue ones when I Pharaoh them. They're a little stiffer, I think is the right phrase. They're just, they don't weave as well. Throwing cards everywhere. I, mean, I don't do a perfect Pharaoh. I don't do the whole boom, like weave them in, but like even just that, like that was as close to a perfect pair as you're gonna get in that speed, you know? Where it's like, yeah. So, like the blue ones already feel 99% broken in after playing with them for as long as I've had them. Like what, three minutes I've had those out? And so the yellow ones feel a little stiffer. I don't know what that's about. But I don't know if they put anything different. So we got the Ace of Spades there with the yellow fontaines. Pineapple fontaines, and I don't know if they put anything else in the deck. Look, I can just love that. Love not wasting paper. So, if you got these, congratulations, they sold out instantly. I went on, I looked at them, I was like, ooh, that's cool, got home, they were sold out. And then I went on Instagram and I saw someone comment about, ooh, there's the yellow ones, they like surprise released them for us. Went on again, sold out. I'm like, oh my gosh. So lucky for me, BAM Playing Cards was there that day and they were able to get a bunch of decks. I know they put some on their website. I'm pretty sure they're already sold out by this point though. Um, they had a couple bricks and they sold out. Even they sold out really quick. I was even only able to get one of each just with funds that I had and everything. So just weave them together. <laughs> I've been working on a uh, little double flip, little boom and then just paw, boom. And then double flip it into the deck. Pretty cool, gotta work on uh, speeding that up and I get it like probably 60, 70% of the time. If you're interested in me doing more reviews like this where it's not so much of the cinematic footage because these just showed up in the mail today and I need to get it the video for you guys because everyone was asking to see these. So if you wanna see more quick videos like this comparing different things like that, leave a like, tell me in the comments what decks you wanna see side-by-side -side comparisons of. I was thinking maybe Jerry's Nugget comparing vintage and modern feel, maybe different versions of the Monarchs, with the color schemes that they've put out, stuff like that. So let me know in the comments what you would love to see so I can make content for you. And last but not least, if you love giveaways, as soon as we hit 500 subscribers here on the channel, we are gonna be doing giveaways every single month. And so I would love it if you were to reach out, share this video, share it with your friends, put it on Reddit, wherever you save videos and wherever you share videos, it would be super helpful for me if you threw that out there anywhere. The faster we grow, the faster that I get decks in your guys' hands. So. Until next week, bye.